Hey guys, so I saw this comment yesterday, and uh, it was good. And uh, you know what? After seeing this, you know, I really, really hope that we see more uh, topics that need to be talked about. You know, because even in anime, anime made in Japan, because I love when the dubbers get the, the, you know, get the anime and then insert their own stuff into it, you know, bringing up topics like Black Lives Matter and, and, and you know, women's suffrage and all that. I just, I love it, you know? And I saw this, and it says, uh, <laughs> one of the epi uh, episodes of High School DxD where Rhea Scremory uh, went against men's rights and started fighting for the patriarchy. Plus, that one episode of Demon Slayer with Tonjiro exposed Trump for being a bad president was classic. I know. I know. They were, it was the best. And in fact, you know, I hope that, like, when Dragon Ball Super possibly comes back, you know, I hope they have an episode, you know, where they, they, they talk, or not even an episode, but just, you know, talking about these things. I'll set up the scene, and I have to set it up because... It, it, by setting it up, it'll allow you to appreciate how awesome it is. Um, so, scene, okay? You gotta put your mind... Imagine you're watching, uh, probably streaming it or seeing it online, because, you know, that's really the only place to see it now. Um, so, the scene. Here's this planet. You know, it starts with, you know, the opening, and then we get the name, you know, the title, and we start on Beerus's planet. Uh, we have a nice little uh, panning around, kind of showing the different areas of Beerus's planet, whether it be the little woods he's got there, uh, kind of seeing the aquatic life in his little lake, swimming around and being happy. Um, and then we get a, a far-off shot. We see Whis in the side, uh, kind of badly drawn because he's so far away, you don't have to worry about detail. But then you just see, boom, 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 you know, the flashes, uh, so we know Goku and Vegeta are sparring. They're going back and forth. Uh, Vegeta throws a punch, hits Goku in the face. Goku spins around, hits him with a back kick, sends Vegeta flying. Um, you know, going back at it again. Uh, Vegeta gets behind Goku. Poof to the ground. Vegeta, uh, of course, Goku doesn't hit the ground. He comes... You know, he readjusts himself and uh, instant transmits back up. And, uh, you know, Vegeta knows it's coming. So he kind of goes back a bit. And then both their fists just boom. The shockwave just sends them both backwards. You know, and they're just, ah, ah, ah. you know, Goku wipes the blood from his mouth a little bit while Vegeta laughs. And, and uh, Goku's like, huh, that was pretty good, Vegeta. It's nice to see you're able to keep up with me. You know, and Vegeta says his typical, you know, don't talk down to me, clown. I'm the Prince of Saiyans, and I'm not going to lose to you anymore, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, then, you know, Goku will say something along the lines of, you know, well, then I, let's say we finish this little sparring match of ours. And then Vegeta says something like, you know, you know, it's about time you mentioned that, that I've been wanting to finish this off for a while. I'm tired of playing with you. So they, they, they both smile at each other, you know, Goku, Kame, and, you know, he starts powering that up. Uh, you see Vegeta, boom, final. Uh, you know, Whis is looking on. Uh, and just as Goku gets, to, you know, he fires his Kamehameha, Vegeta fires his final flash. Um, and then they pan to uh, Beerus, is, you know, inside. Uh, Beerus is sleeping, you know, unaware of the destruction about to happen. You know, you have the Kamehameha final flash, ooh, boom, and they're just back and forth, back and forth. Sparks, things exploding all over the place, and uh, you, know, the, the, you know, Goku's like that, and all of a sudden Goku says, hey Vegeta, you ever realize we don't have a very diverse bit of friends? That our group isn't very diverse? And Vegeta will be like, yeah, I've noticed that too, Kakarot. Apart from the Namekian, everyone's white. And he, the, uh, Goku will say, uh, you know, for being protectors of the Earth, we aren't well represented in our group. And not to mention, we don't have any women. Apart from Android 18, we don't have any other female fighters. 
And uh, Vegeta will say, that's true, Kakarot. That android is the only woman we have. And we should definitely let some more women on because women are just as powerful as men. Look at my Bulma. She's probably the smartest person on this planet. And if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be where we are with all the technology she's made for us. And even without me as her husband, she would have been fine because she's strong and independent. And Vegeta, Goku will be like, yeah, that's true, Vegeta. My Chi-Chi is really strong, too. That's why I married her, because she was incredibly strong. You know? Like that. To see how awesome it is. You know? Adding bullcrap like that to, to things for no reason. I love it. I love it. You know? Because I want to hear Goku and Vegeta talk about... How there's a lack of diversity in their group and that uh you know strong females or better yet you know let's redub uh death note you know let's have a scene where where light is sitting there and you know he's like every day all over the world systemic racism takes its hold in society marginalized groups unable to thrive you know I would love to hear that and how he's going to enact justice on the, the, the patriarchy and, and, and the racist Nazis, you know, I would love to hear light have this huge dramatic monologue about how he's going to fight systemic racism. Because that's the kind of thing that dubbing is now, even if it's, it could be the most random thing. You know, it could be in the middle of a fight. It could be whatever. And they're just going to like, well, let's just bring up, uh, let's see, pronouns. So I would love it. I would love it, you know, because when we're watching anime, we need to be reminded about the real world things going on, you know, because especially me it's like when i get home you know when i get home from one of my two jobs and i turn on you know something to watch whether it be anime or whatever i love being reminded about the real world you know i love it you know i love being told about the patriarchy i love being told about uh diversity and inclusion i love it you know i just love it because instead of just getting an escape from reality, which is what entertainment should be, we, you know, preaching. I just, I love getting preached to about how the color, if I'm white, I'm evil or, or whatever the case is. I love it, you know, and you people who don't love it, you don't know what you're missing. We need it every day, everywhere, just all over the place whether it be comics or anime or games, uh, movies, TV shows, you name it. We need to preach this stuff because this is stuff everyone so totally cares about. Everyone. Everyone. You normal people who don't care about it, who just want to be entertained, shame on you. Shame on you. For shame. Of course, people, normal people will look at this and think it's funny. The ones who actually like the political bull crap and, the, and everything will be like, I just watched this video, and you are fucking stupid. I wasted my time listening to you cry like a baby. <laughs> well, so nice that you like political bullshit shoved into every aspect of life. Must be hard to be you, then. Not having any form of real entertainment unless it has some kind of political message behind it. I said before, not too long ago, about people looking too hard into stuff like Animal Crossing saying that there's a political message behind that or that it's a, you know, something for about the, the, the lower class. and You know, so if people don't have a meaning in something or representation, it's like, oh, well, then it's not entertainment. But let's hear 
your favorite episodes. Episodes that didn't actually happen. It's going to be kind of like a, what they, you see with um, like trailers. You know, it's like, oh yeah, my favorite part was when they said this and this happened. I cried. When he said it's Morbin time. Um, my favorite part of the movie was when Cinderella said, this is my swamp. You know, stuff like that. So, yeah, the, 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 the Goku Vegeta thing, you know, hearing Light have a monologue about systemic racism, I would love it. What kinds of things would you love to see? And it doesn't have to be those in those uh, anime. They're just kind of the most well-known. So it's just more of an example. So what kind of stuff would you like to see in anime? That just, you know, totally needs to be there. Let me know. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.